Hiro san. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Back in the studio. A really nice recipe again to make with something left over from the other day. Yes, the snapper head. This head I'm gonna make in the soup. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna keep it this one. I'm gonna use it something else. Making okay. something else. Okay. Right. So today I'm going to make this one with the kabutoni. That's what we call it, kabutoni. So snapper head, uh, kind of simmer, slow cooking, uh, that kind of stuff. I don't know exactly how to say in English about this cooking style. You're just gonna put it in the hot water. Yeah. First, first I'm gonna do the down. branch. I mean, they are uh, putting the hot water okay. and putting the cold water. Why I do this? So I take off the uh, little more small scale on the meat. I want to take it off and all those okay. stuff and the sticky stuff. It wasn't taken out. All right, very good. Yeah. Okay. So first, I'm gonna put this one in the hot water. Okay. Just uh, cook uh, quickly. Yeah. So then this one's uh, 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 depend on the chef, uh, also a little bit different way. Some chefs are cut into a little bit more smaller. Okay. Okay, smaller into the smaller piece. But today I'm going to do the whole thing. Right. Go this way. So take it off the little smaller little scales. Scales. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so today's ingredient, the main ingredient is in uh, Thai. Uh, beside, I'm going to use uh, here as a water. Sake, mirin, sugar, ginger. And I'm gonna use the soy sauce. And I'm gonna use the ginger powder. And the decor for decoration, I'm gonna use the kai water. And also another uh, slice of the ginger. All right, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Let's do it. So today I'm gonna use the, this wok. This is 150 milliliter of the water and also same amount 150 milliliter of the sake water and the sake first i'm gonna do uh start the boiling okay so uh, they start to uh, boiling so i'm going to add to the fish it seems to a little bit maybe too tight Okay, next one is a slice of shoga ginger. Slice of ginger. You never see this type of cooking, right? Not really, not at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Something new. Something new. Something new. Next one is a uh, meeting. This is a uh, 80, 80 cc, 80 cc, or okay. 80, 80 milliliter. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit different, right? <laughs> this is a uh, sugar. It's brown sugar. Yeah. This is a uh, mm, four teaspoon, tablespoon, tablespoon. Then I'm gonna just cover up and a little bit of uh, steaming. Okay. So next one is uh, soy sauce. This one you really have to be careful because uh, what I'm going to do is uh, everything's soup and this juice is going to be reduced, right? So if you put the too much soy sauce uh, at this moment, it's getting 
very salty okay. in the result. So you just need to kind of, you know, right flavor on this moment. How much soy sauce do you put in? One tablespoon. Okay. This moment. Mm, okay, then a little bit later I'm gonna add a little more, just a little bit more uh, soy sauce. How long do you leave like this to reduce it? Mm, it's gonna be, this one looks like gonna Maybe take another minutes? 10 more minutes. Okay. At least. You want most of the water to evaporate, most of that yeah. sake? Yeah, so now I'm gonna cover off and just everything is gonna be reduced. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, after a few minutes, I'm going to add the second soy sauce. So half of, half of the tablespoon. Okay. Then I want to put this one on the top for the cover up. So then the juice is going to be circulation, right? Okay. And they call it circulation? Yeah. 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 This one like that. Then I'm going to wait a little bit, a few more minutes. Okay. Okay. Then after a few minutes, so you see, the juice is getting more like a thick color. Yeah, thicker. Right? Wow. So, I'm going to take off the paper. Then, after that, all the way, I want to start to reduce it. Okay. A little bit more. Look at that. Almost nothing sauce. Yeah, right? it's evaporated. Huh? That's it. It's kind of caramelized, you know? Yeah. Like that. Okay, whole process is finished. Okay. Let me into the air. It's very soft. It's a more bigger spoon. Dish here, oh, that looks amazing. I can't wait to try some of this. You know what? Being so sustainable, that's the most important thing nowadays, as everyone knows. Try and use every part of the fish. And here, I just did that. Yeah, you can add to that just for the decoration. Just put a little bit of this in just. a little bit of fiber right here. Just a little, a little bit of greens. Okay. And today I'm gonna use uh, also additional ginger powder. Okay, this is a uh, kabutoni. Amazing. First one, that looks so, so oh, good. I've you. never seen that, I've never had it. I can't wait to try mm, it. Mm. If you guys like this video at home, give it a thumbs up, comment below, share it. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next part of the tasting. Hey, thank, thank you, so you much. very much. See you next time. Incredible. Take a look at this. I wish you guys were here to smell what I smell. This dish looks phenomenal. Again, all the parts that you normally just toss away. Hero made a delicious looking dish here. Here's some, let's give it a try. Sure. Okay, first I'm going to take some meat for you. Easy one is uh, this one. It's a, they call the kama? Yeah, like a kama part. Yeah. You, can, d d you have a lot of good yeah, yeah, meat here. Mm -hmm. And this one, actually, you, you need uh, some sauce. Okay, okay thank you. 
thing. I'm gonna go with uh, this peppers. Okay. You guys can see the head there. Crack them all. Okay. Enjoy here. Okay. Like a cheek meat. Cheek meat. Yeah. There's a lot Love of meat this. in there. Love wow. <laughs> That's the best part. Mm -hmm. This is the best of parts. Right? You know, the filet, sashimi is good, but the head part is the best. Yeah. People don't realize how good and how much meat's actually on the head. Mm -hmm. Just look how much meat is on this thing. Unreal. Mm. That's right. Mm. Super flaky, super tender. It tastes like what Hero said earlier, almost like a almost like a teriyaki. Mm -hmm. A little bit smoother. Very good. The brown sugar, I think, brings out the, the taste of the the fish a little bit more than just a regular white sugar. Right, right. Hmm. And then mm. this one. Delicious. My this is part of oh, the, the eyeball. eyeball. I still fight with my sister all the time. Whole thing, but uh, this one. This part <laughs> is good. Growing up here, mm. I still fight with my sister all the time for the eyeball. You know that? So good. Right? Wow. Just around the, the cornea. Let me tell you what, there's so much meat on here. Let's just take a look at this. You guys, please try to make this at home. A little bit more work, but the reward will be this delicious tasting fish. And of mm. course, if you take this care very well, this is skin. Mm -hmm. This is another taste of pasta. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I love the skin. So that's why <coughs> I take with a scale yeah. and I put down a branch one. You need to take off the old the small uh, scale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Sorry, I was eating. I <laughs> lost my concentration of filming. So good. So you like this flavor, uh -huh. like this, with the uh, steamed rice, right? So good. I wish I had some more rice. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys got to try it. Again, thank you so much, Hiro. Yeah. Finish the rest of this off camera. Hiro-san, we'll see you soon. Yeah, see you next time.